tiny cakes. Today I'm showing you three tiny cakes made of cookies. You heard right. Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Hopkins. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me create next. So my friend Ricky always tells me like the different trends. And he told me that there's this cake pen where you can create a tiny three-tiered wedding cake. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I made tiny cakes before. And it turns out that two years ago I did, but I forgot about the footage, so I never posted the video. But today is your lucky day because I found the footage and that's what we're doing today. We're creating three tiny cakes with cookies. The first cake we're gonna be creating is using chocolate chip cookies. These are Nabisco Chips Ahoy. Ooh, cookies are always my favorite. I like cookies more than I like cake, to be honest. Now we're gonna treat these cookies just like cake. So I'm gonna use each cookie as a layer of cake. I've got some buttercream in the middle, just vanilla buttercream that I'm spreading out and then I'm just gonna layer three cookies on top of each other. Then I'm gonna give it a crumb coat. Now I placed these cookies in the fridge for a little bit just so that they could stiffen up and I started to decorate with some buttercream. Now the first cake I'm going to be creating is a Catherine Sabbath cake. She's one of my favorite artists. Even back then, even two years ago, she was my favorite. So I wanted to do like her signature cake so a blue cake with the ice cream cone on top and I made the ice cream cone out of fondant and then I used ooh what is that I think those are what is it <laughs> I'm watching the footage because I don't remember so long ago so for the bottom I've got some chopped candy melts and then I'm adding some pink frosting to create the signature drips I wanted to create drips with like the same drip that she uses, but on a tiny cake, it didn't work out. That's why you're seeing the second version of this and not the first, because the first looked terrible. I added some sprinkles to the top, finished it off with my ice cream cone, and voila. My first tiny cookie cake was complete. What do you think? That is delightful. How precious, right? <laughs> And remember, in the description box are links to organizations that are helping people that are deeply affected by the coronavirus. So, if you can donate time or money, then please do. Let's move on to the next. I don't remember what this was. Let's watch this together. Let's see, what kind of cookie is this? Oh, it's Reese's Pieces! Chips Ahoy, but it's like a chocolate cookie with some peanut butter morsels, I think. Oh, this is gonna be a good cake. So I got some buttercream and because I am treating this like a cake and not a cookie, I added some chocolate syrup. If this was a cake, I would do that too, which is why I'm doing it here. Okay, I think I'm making a super chocolatey cake because I'm adding chocolate buttercream to the outside and then I'm just smoothing it out. Ooh. Very smooth. Is it a drip cake too? Oh, it's a chocolate drip cake. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's more drippy than the first one. What did I do? I don't remember. All right, so I guess I'm finishing this off with some chocolate piles. Oh, I know what those are. And those are those crispy brownie bites. I just broke them off into tiny little pieces and then just stuck them on the side and at the top. Wow, I'm getting hungry. That looks good. Oh my gosh. I gotta put cookies in my Instacart. Okay, we got one more cake. <laughs> what is it? I think it's strawberry. Let's see. Oh, it's the, what, the, no. <laughs> I forgot what kind of cookie this is. They're from Knott's Berry Farm. And so we've got a little bit of like a sugar shortbread cookie with some strawberry jam in the middle. Yes, I'm feeling it. Good job, I'm liking this. Okay, we got buttercream, strawberry buttercream in the middle. And I hope I covered this in pink buttercream too. Okay, we're skipping the crumb coat, as you can see, and we're just going to cover this straight with some strawberry buttercream. Oh, I got some painting on. Oh, wow. What do you call this technique? It's like splatter paint on the side of this cake. And I added, look at that little piece of fondant. That piece of fondant is supposed to look like melted chocolate when you like put it on parchment paper and then you clip the parchment paper to make it look like this 
abstract piece of art. I did that, but because I didn't want to do it with chocolate, I did it with fondant. Looks the exact same. And it's funny to see all of this stuff on the cake because it's all miniaturized. So the sixlet that I added on, on an actual cake, that would probably be a gumball. That super small thing represents something that's huge. And voila, my third cake was complete. This is a good video, I love this video. Wow, how stunning is that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm getting so excited after watching this footage. I'm loving it. So I think all three of these look bomb, but the tiny Catherine Sabbath cake is my favorite. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more tiny cookie cakes, let me know what cookie you'd like me to turn into a cake. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace.